am aware of the crime I committed. I understand my actions, but I cannot explain why this happened. This is a hard story to tell. The story of a schizophrenic person, jailed as a sex offender, interned for almost his entire life, at a psychiatric asylum, and who became an incredible artist. Through the notes of his psychiatrist, and his own thoughts, we will discover an incredible story. Bern, Switzerland, June 3, 1895. The police had arrested a 31 years old robust man, considered guilty, of a hateful crime. Under the order of the magistrate, he was sent to the Waldo Psychiatric Asylum, for an evaluation of his mental health. His name, was Adolf Wolfley. Should I say it to the doctor? Can I trust him? Or is he plotting against me? They all plot against me. Certain women, had insulted and ruined me. But what had happened? Why was this man supposed to be insane? Who was Adolf Wolfley? My name is Walter Morgenpuller. As a psychiatrist at Waldau Asylum, I met in 1908 a mysterious man who was arrested for a crime. We would never want to come across. Psychiatrist Walter Morgenthaler will have a crucial role in the life of Adolf Wolfley, trying to understand the secrets hidden in his tortured personality. So far, I was able to learn little about him. He was born in Bohl in central western Switzerland, in 1864. On October 8, 1895, he was declared mentally ill, and therefore not responsible for his crime. He was also declared dangerous for the society, and he must remain in treatment, until he might return to being no longer a danger to public safety. But let's go back to 1895. Why was he sent to Waldo Asylum? Which crime did he commit? His life changed forever on May 12th. Adolf Wolfley, 31 years old, during one of his wanderings, entered a home. A little girl, who was only three years old, was playing carefree. What happened? Did his traumatic life, make him a monster? Don't miss next episode. Subscribe to our channel, and switch on notifications.